Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Today we're working on the Honda Odyssey here guys and we'll show you how to remove and replace uh, front wheel hub, the whole hub assembly. We'll demonstrate on the right side, but the left side will be identical guys. Stay with us, we're gonna go ahead and start on it. This is the Odyssey right here, 2007 model, but it will cover many years and, uh, and models as well. Let's go ahead and start on it now. Alright guys, first we'll need to remove the center cap right there, so if you pry it with a small screwdriver you can remove that one. Next, okay, we'll need to get that big nut loose. And there is a spot that's flattened, so it prevents it from getting loose. Okay, so you need to get a chisel or a screwdriver, and you need to flatten that piece there, okay. And in our case it's a 30, uh, I believe it's a 36, some models might differ, okay. And those are usually super, super tight. So we'll need to get a cheater pipe for that purpose. All right guys, so we will need a cheating pipe. I think we'll be able to take it off just by, okay, getting on it a little bit, but you can get an extension that way. You can get it loose. And when it starts going, okay, it's pretty easy after that. Alright guys, so we'll jack it on the subframe here now, on the front. That way we can put the jack stand right there. So you can see, we have the jack stand there. Safety first guys, never rely on the jack because if something goes wrong, it's gonna fall on you. So next, we'll need to take the tire off, the wheel off. Okay, that's a done deal now. Alright guys, in order to remove the, the wheel hub now, we will need to disconnect the brake caliper with the mount, with the bracket. So, we will need to disconnect, okay, the holes for the brakes, brake line right there, 12 millimeter, and pull it out, that way we will not damage it. Now, we will need to remove the whole caliper, okay, with the bracket. There is two bolts towards the back. Okay, let me let me see if I can get a good view here. Okay, right there. So we'll go ahead and remove those with 19 millimeter socket. And those are tight. Okay, like that. We got them loose, so we'll just use the little impact. And those usually guys have thread lock. So always put some thread lock when you install them. Okay, right there, second one is out. Now we have a bucket here, or otherwise you have to get like a heavy duty zip tie and tie it for the strut or leave it on the bucket, make sure it doesn't fall. That way you don't have any stress on the brake line. Okay, well I guess they're coming for me now. So, <laughs> right there on the bottom. Okay, we need to pull that safety pin. Okay. And we'll need to get that, that nut loose. And this one is with a 19 millimeter. Okay, right there. We're using those box wrenches. They're really, really helpful in some cases. Okay, this one is out now. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and turn the wheel towards the left all the way. Now it's towards the right, so that way we, we were able to reach the two bolts for the brakes. Okay, now we need to disconnect the outer tie rod. Okay, right here. And there is a safety pin that we need to pull out. Okay, so you need to straighten both pieces. Okay, and pull it out. Okay, let me show you. Okay, that's the one I'm talking about. Again, with 19, we're going to take it off. Okay, take it off all the way. Even with the bolt. Okay, check it out now. Make sure it's even with the bolt because we'll need to tap on it probably. Now we'll need to, to get a hammer. Oh, 
Okay, and it came off. Now we can go ahead and remove the nut. Okay, and disconnect the tie rod. Okay, you can see just like that. Next with the 12 or 10, then we'll need to uh, disconnect right there the ABS sensor. So just go ahead and remove that bolt. And you guys just pull it out. Okay, that's the ABS speed sensor. We'll go ahead and uh, remove the nut as well. That one that we got loose, guys. So just pull the whole thing out. Okay, right there. And next, what we will need to do, we need to make sure that the uh, CV axle will be moving towards the back. We need to go ahead and remove the two, two nuts that hold the strut with 22. Okay, like that. Next, we'll just pull the bolts out. Okay, you wiggle it a little bit and it will come out. If you put a screwdriver to hold it there, you'll be able to remove it easier because if you have any weight on the bolt, it will get stuck. Okay. Okay, this one is out now. Only thing that we need to do, we need to pull the CV axle, but we need to get that bolt loose on the bottom. Okay, and this one is stuck. We'll need to tap on it a little bit. Okay, it's, it's loose. Preferably install the nut because you might bend the bolt and you need a new new lower, lower bolt joint. And if you know what I mean, just leave the nut on it if you need to tap on it. Next, with a few of screwdriver, we'll need to remove the two, two bolts that hold the disc towards the hub. Okay, and you can pull the disc out, guys. And this is the wheel hub assembly right here with the bearing and everything else, you can see. So that's how you guys remove it. You install everything in reverse order. We took it apart. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and see you guys next time.